What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the gas station. So recently I've been painting my bike. Um, I'm almost there. As you can see, I have most of it done. Um, I got some videos that I'm going to be uploading for you guys. But what I wanted to say was I'm working on pretty much one of the last pieces I need to go on my bike. Uh, <clears throat> my battery box. Um, my fuse box. I did similar pattern but I'll be honest I don't really care for this pattern that I'm laying out right now um, I think I'm just gonna spray it though um, I'm not I couldn't find the lace that I wanted uh, uh, I could have went to a fabric store but at Michaels they pretty much just have flower shit so I already have flowers on the one side it's the same pattern um, so I'm gonna lay down the same pattern similar pattern as the other side I like the other side but I didn't want too much of it well I was gonna do this like a Mexican blanket style on this side on this side but for purposes of it being easier I'm going I think I'm just gonna go this route but I will say um, I took my front fairing and I took this uh, battery box over to Mako and I let them spray it, the red. Um, I did not like the, the way that they did it. They left my whole inside of the fairing black and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, you guys need to fix this. And pretty much they told me that they didn't do that when I explained to them that I'm a returning customer. I've been there before that they shot my bike originally and that's my old fairing on the bike that the inside was painted so next week I'll be picking up my fairing but right now I do have the battery box but what I, what I would say is you don't need to take your shit to any shop I didn't want to get over spray in my garage um, I live in a condo so they want to get too crazy with painting and stuff but I paid like over three hundred dollars like 350 to get my battery box painted and to get the fairing painted they only did half of the fairing so obviously I was highly upset when I spent 850 to get my whole bike done last time so and I had pretty much you know the tank being one of the harder parts and my rear fender it was it was all metal so it was bare skin uh, so they primered it shot below on top shot everything so back to what I was saying if you guys do this you guys have an open area go to your local um, auto store um, that carries paint and have them mix you up whatever color you like uh, for me I just look at cars that are around and I say oh that's a really cool color so, you know, you can match it to that color of the car. Um, have them mix you guys up some. You can get pretty much a fucking $20 gun from Harbor Freight and lay down the same thing that they have. So obviously, you know, you can lay down, sand it, you know, and it's not gonna look bad. So what I will say is, if you guys are gonna do it by yourself, get your piece that you have on your bike so I have this piece and if nothing's on there you just pull off your battery box and nothing's on there sand it with 800 by hand and then you just want to knock off anything shiny so you have your gloss finish get it to where it's dull don't go any deeper than that get it to where it's dull and then all the hard spots, hit it with your gray scotch, scotch bright pad and prep it, clean it with glass cleaner and you can use um, wax grease remover that painters use. Um, after that, hit it with a, ta a tack cloth. I have it right here. Pretty much you just dab it, kind of wipe it it's it's like waxy tacky so it doesn't leave residue but I don't like push on it to clean anything I just tack it 
to get all the dust particles off. Once you do that, you're already 10 steps ahead of what Mako's gonna do. So hit it with the tack cloth and then mix up your paint and blast it. Paint or some shit. Um, any little imperfections? There's quite a bit of imperfections on here. There's little dots and little splatches. Um, I got all the the dirt and stuff off of here. So we have it all done. Took like five, less than 10 minutes with by hand. This piece right here goes in the back of the wheel so you can't see it very much. But instead of taping the corners off like I said I was going to, I didn't. And there you go. I went down to metal there. So I just took that gray pad and um, just hit the whole thing. So it's ready to clean up right now. And I'm going to start laying down some tape. So I'm kind of fucking with this. There's a bunch of um, where I sanded off. This one uh, was terrible as far as the paint job, the original paint job. So I would sand and it was just super, super lumpy. It wasn't even like, it wasn't orange pill. It was lumpy as shit. And so there's a bunch of black spots. So for me to get any kind of design out of it with the flame or something, I was having to try to stay, I'm trying to cover up all the black spots, which is a primer on here. So I can't really do it. So I'm just gonna throw some lace on here, try to mess with this for a little bit. And um, if I can't get it, I'm gonna end up sanding it down and just painting it all red again. And then I'll start with another flame. But for now, um, I'm just gonna mess with it and see how it turns out. And that's what I got going on right now. So. Stay tuned for the next one. So I took some gloss over it. Um, I'm probably going to put some more lines in there. But I didn't want to mess up anything that I had laid down. But you can see like right here where I sanded it too much. I'm going to hide that. And in the middle there's a little bit of gray too where I sanded it too much so I'm gonna put like a black line around it or I'm gonna put another uh, copper line around it along see the little black in the middle right there it's still there I didn't get red can today but I did throw some extra lines on it um, I really just want to throw it on the bike like this I wanted to add uh, one silver line between this fat copper one, um, a really thin silver line, and then add a silver line in here, V shape in it, so then it would cover this black. I still may do that, or I might just throw it on the bike like that. So I got some lace on there right now.
So I got the flame taped off on the front fairing. And that's what it looks like. Getting inside that tape and making sure it's real tight. Um, pressing it on these edges. I'm gonna have to press it before I paint it. Um, I could do it. I could have done that better, but it is what it is. On these edges, same thing. They're a little bit more difficult. Um, I got it all taped off over here. You can see I have the pattern, but it's taped. Now I'm gonna take the razor blade um, to the inside, right in the middle of the white line, and then um, start peeling all that tape. I'll go through, double check any little spots that may need a little bit more tape, and then um, we're gonna paint it. Today, I'm gonna be using a $10, $11 gun from um, Harbor Freight. I think it's gonna do better with this paint. And um, it doesn't need to be super detailed because it's a big piece. So I got it all taped off. I cut. I went through and pushed all the little corners. I went and looked in real good detail where all the little spots are um, that paint could get under. And uh, touched the spots that you don't want uh, paint on it. So I did that. Got both sides looking pretty good so it shot pretty good um, the Harbor Freight gun it comes out really fast and blotchy like I would only do areas that are big this side it's not bad it's not great so the gun for $11 shoots amazing but if you're trying to get detailed and like I wanted more red in here but I'm not worried about it but if you want to get super detailed um, you have to get get yourself a, a, a decent gun probably in the 60 to 100 dollar range so I took a rag and I wiped off all the insides that I just got close to the line without touching it so um, yeah, so now everything's cleaned off. I'm gonna do the best that I can to hit it with my tack cloth, and then um, we're gonna gloss it. So I just kind of went through and just kind of cleaned up the lines um, with a little bit of window cleaner. So I got my rear fender done. Looks pretty good. A little bit of orange pill in there. Uh, not much. I can definitely polish it out, buff it out later. But I don't think I'm going to. I just want to get this thing on the bike so I can ride. Later on, I'm, I might polish it out. So this is what my rear fender looks like, what my flame looks like. My first time doing flames. I think it looks pretty good guys. Got it all laid down. Um, finger touch, still needs probably three hours. Fights are on tonight so I'm going to let it sit here 
do its thing. So I'm hitting it with the gloss right now, as you can see, I messed up on those two lines taking the tape off, so I had to redo it. That was really hard to do, to retape it, not mess anything up and redo it, because uh, you have to clean it at the same time, and it wasn't the easiest thing to do. Right now we have a good little coat on there. One tack coat and one regular coat. You can see it needs at least three coats. So I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes. I'm gonna hit it with another coat. This is gonna take a full can. So I got it all painted up. Got my gloss on there. I used one can of the 2K gloss. This is on the second can, I made one pass. So um, this is be the third pass. The reason why I made the third pass is because you can still from the side, if you're looking at the very side, you can see the bump and feel um, the texture. Uh, but I did wipe it down with a glass cleaner and it didn't wipe any like um, of the original paint so I knew it was thick enough but it just needed one more pass um, it looks good on this side but on the other side right here there's a little bit of orange peel but it's going right on the bike tomorrow guys I don't even care to me it looks good for my first time ever doing any paint job on a Harley I would say it doesn't look bad. 